But the college football playoff committee, they've changed its playoff format. And I think this is very interesting. So instead of only four teams playing for a chance at the national championship, the committee has implemented a 12-team playoff format starting next year, next season. So I'm loving the change, but there's also some mixed emotions about it. I'm going to be honest about it. So um, the top four teams will get the bye week in this new playoff format while teams four through 12 battle it out to get a chance to play top four and and obviously a chance to play in the national championship game so it's a new format it's definitely new but right off the bat when i seen this i'm like no i'm not a fan man because 12 is just too many teams to allow one opportunity to play in the national championship game. I, I like the, the top four seed and the top four teams that the committee select if they had to. I, I enjoyed that because it was a lot more competition and, and it was a lot of, you know, urgency to be one through four. If you're a subpar team, if you're an elite team, if you're a bad team, either way it went, you were trying to fight for number four at a minimum, but everybody wanted to be number one. So while this format, the the 12 people format, 12 team format, while this gives us a lot more meaningful football for some mediocre teams come playoff time, it also allows a lot more room for mistakes. And what I mean by that is teams can play along at number seven, number six, all season, be, be right around number five, honestly, and just be perfectly content with being number five rather than striving for number one like we used to see in that 14 format. So it's cool, but to me, it's catering toward those mediocre teams and those bad teams because with that 14 format, man, I know y'all remember, and I thought the committee did good last year in picking the teams, but with the 14 format, bro, you had to be on your game every single time you stepped on the field. Every game was meaningful. Um, you wanted to beat the bad teams by 30. You wanted to prove a statement against the good teams so you could be ranked higher. Like these things were pivotal in college football, especially during the regular season. So I, I really enjoyed watching this 14 format, but I, I think it's it definitely has an upside to it, which is why I say, you know, mixed emotions, because um, in a way, going from top four, you know, it, it, it does cater to these mediocre teams, but it gives more meaning to the bowl games that we missed out on over the past year. You know, the last year you had a lot of teams sitting out there, star players. Florida State was one of them. Ohio State was one of them. They had star guys sitting out and resting because they looked at it as these bowl games aren't meaningful if they don't get a chance to play for the national championship. And, and I think this is going to change that because this will 1000% help the bowl games. The problem with resting is going to forever be a problem. You're, you're never going to be able to stop resting, especially with the whole NIL deal things and guys who are top prospects trying to get to the next level. I don't think there's ever going to be a way to completely stop resting uh, for, for certain teams. But in terms of bowl games, because it's five through 12 and you get 12 teams who have an opportunity to go play for a national championship, this is going to help them compete in these bowl games, regardless of the title, regardless of the weight that the bowl game holds. Because either way it goes, it's like you win or go home and you win, you get to advance, you get closer to an opportunity to play in the national championship game, which is dope in which all of these teams want an opportunity to do. So I, I think this is going to be cool because now your average team or the average bowl game that, that's out there, whether it's the Pizza the Little Caesars Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, um, which is actually a really good one, but like all of these levels of bowl games that's there, they all significantly, or they all all of a sudden become significantly important because they're win or go home type of game. So I, I think this new format is very similar to March Madness, and I actually love that it's similar to March Madness because, you know, it's win or go home. Either you win in advance or you lose and, and you snooze. So, you know, I think it's cool. But the best thing you'll probably hear about college football and that you've probably heard about college football if you don't live under a rock is that the NCAA 25 college football game is officially on the way. It's officially a go. EA Sports confirmed that the game will release this year. And it's been a long time coming, bro, and, and I'm excited for it. So we got to just applause to that because that is amazing. It, I mean, I, look, I'm going to tell you this. I've been at home 
I uh, I recently came up on an older Xbox. I came up on my old Xbox 360, and I found my old Madden 11. <laughs> oh, no, no, not Madden 11. I'm sorry. NCAA 11 with Tony, Tim Tebow on the cover of it. Oh, my gosh. And I've been playing the hell out that game like it's brand new, bro. And, and that just... An example of like when when you like college football, bro, and they got they haven't released the game in over ten years. This is beautiful for the gamers right here, and it, this will probably be the first game that EA takes my money again. And Xbox is gonna take my take my money because I haven't been buying games recently. I haven't been playing games recently, so this will be one of the, one of the few that's definitely out there. So I'm excited for it, and I hope they have this new format as well. 